is happening? Magnesites. Back with another Magnus Answers and the God that wields the dark moon has descended to his throne of thought to answer your question as the Magnesite movement marches forward to one million subscribers. Now, I have a question from him, brother. He's got a, a slight dilemma, okay? That's what it says. He says, okay, my brother, I have a question for you. So I'm in the middle, in the middle of a love triangle that would really, and I would really like your input if you even give a damn. Hey, I give a damn about a love triangle. Shit, at least if I didn't give a damn, I'm listening. I'm nosy about this shit. I want to know what's going on. So, it says, both women are absolutely stunning and show me nothing but love and respect. Mm, both of them. But something inside me can't seem to let go of the fact that I have two gorgeous, badass women who can't get enough of me. The player inside of me can't let go of them. But the real man inside wants to settle down. What the hell do you think I should do? Seriously. And yes, I believe in one million subscribers and may the force be with you, damn it. Speaking of the force being with you, I've made a couple of Darth Maul t-shirts for y'all. You requested Darth, I'm not Darth Maul, Darth Magnus. <laughs> Darth Magnus t-shirts, they are on my website. You can go check them out in the description below. All right, now, so what should you do pertaining to this love triangle? Well, first off, in a love triangle, people know about each other, right? So do they know about each other? Do they know about each other? If they know about each other, then it sounds to me like they're, you know, competing for maybe your attentions. Um, let me see here. I want to see love triangle definition because I swear it's 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 like all three of you know about each other. Love triangle, also called romantic love triangle or a romance triangle, is usually a romantic relationship involving three people. While it can refer to two people independently, romantically linked with a third, it usually implies that each of the three people has some kind of relationship to the other two. So yes, yeah, so you, 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 you it, I want to know, do they know about each other, okay? If they know about each other, then, I mean, some people live their lives dating. And they open date they date they date openly. So it's kinda like when they get to when they know someone, when they meet someone, listen, I do date other people, you know, I'm very interested in you, yada yada yada. The other one may accept that. Or they may decline and say, No, I only want to exclusively date you. I think the majority exclusively date while the others are, you know, open daters. Okay? So if they all if they both know about each other I mean, in all seriousness, ride the wave until you figure out which one you really want to be with, which one you, you want to be with the most, which one you've developed the feelings for the most, okay? I mean, he can get real freaky, man, and he can marry both of them. Yes, what you could do is legal in some states, so you could do that if you wanted to. You can marry both of them. But in all practicality, Usually you're going to end up loving one more than the other. You're going to care for one more than the other. You're going to want to be with one more than the other. One's going to be more fun, period. One's going to be better and you know where, period. Like something, one is going to have a landslide victory or at least a win by a nose. And if you seriously want to settle down now, if I were you and I seriously was like, look, I love the fact that I got all these beautiful women on me, but. I'm ready to settle down and get married and build a family and all this other stuff. I need to figure out who I want to be with. If I was going to do that, um, I would do a variation of the Ben Franklin clothes. I would basically write, I would you draw a cross in the middle of a piece of paper and you write Helga and Marianne, okay? One on each side of the cross. And on the bottom, then underneath the, the, the lines, you, you write all the things that make you want to be with Helga. Then you write everything that makes you want to be with Marianne. 
And whichever one wins out, whoever's got the most positive votes, bam, that's the one you go with. Or another variation of Ben Franklin would be you draw two crosses, okay? You write Helga at the top of one, you write Marianne at the top of another. You, wrote, you write pros and cons underneath Helga, and you write pros and cons underneath Marianne. Then you write all the good things about Helga and all the bad things about Helga. You write all the good things about Marianne and all the bad things about Marianne and under those two crosses. And then you look, pros and cons for Helga. Helga's got a lot more pros than she does cons. She's only got like three cons. Then you look at Marianne. Mm, Marianne's kind of close. She's got almost got the same amount of pros as she does cons. Hmm, logically, I think I should probably go with Helga. You get what I'm saying here? I'm serious. This is exactly what I was you would use if I were in your situation. But see, I don't get caught up in um, love triangles, okay? I get caught up in love octagons, nigga. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Woo! Because I got a women's league. I'm all on the outside. Full women. Waiting for me to go. Ooh. Yeah. But because you're a small time, not big time, Mount Magnus, I'm giving you a solution on how to handle your particular situation. All right? So, <laughs> I hope I've helped you, man. Seriously, I hope I've helped you. Figure out which one you really like the most, basically, and, and you know, put it very simply, which one do you like the most, and go with that one, all right? Which one logically makes more sense, okay? There's emotion and logic, you know what I mean? Now, this could get a little bit deeper and make a longer video, but me, the woman that's best for you is going to be a, a great mixture of logic and emotion. You're going to really feel emotionally attached to her. And at the same time, she's what's best for business. She is just what's best. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm really attached to a woman, she can cook, she can clean, she's got her own money, she wants to be a good mother. It's just all these things that make a great woman. And while the other one, you may be emotionally attached, but she really ain't got no fucking qualities that are long lasting then you're going to want to get rid of her. You know what I mean? Like, unless you plan on crafting and molding her into the woman that you want, and that doesn't always work. So, that's all I got to say, man. One million subscribers. Woo!